studying about the last days of Judah, and um, their kingdom finally was conquered by Babylon. They had a, a the rest of the kings after Josiah were bad kings. One of them ruled three months, and the Bible said he was evil in the eyes of the Lord. Now, how much evil can you get in in three months? But he did. So. God sent the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, to conquer uh, Judah, to destroy them and take them into captivity. Um, I believe there were a few very poor people left in the land so it wouldn't go completely wild. But for the most part, um, the people were carried off to Babylon. And he actually did this in three waves. Um, so he marched on, on Ju Jerusalem three times. The first time he did, he took the young people of noble birth and took them back to Babylon. And this was a common practice uh, at the time. Rome did, would do this also. And they did that so that the leaders of Jerusalem wouldn't attack Babylon, because if they did, their children would be killed. Also, they could then raise the children to be favorable to them. So it, it was a, a hostage indoctrination kind of thing. Um, among those people that were taken in the first captivity was Daniel and I'm not going, I don't know their Hebrew names, but the, the name, names they were given in Babylon were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Rakshak and Benny, if you watch Veggie Tales. They, they were taken to, um, to Babylon to the capital city, and they were actually given privileged uh, status because they were being trained to be favorable to the kingdom so that when they grew up, uh, they, would, they would not fight Babylon. So uh, they were given the prime food that the king had, fine meats and fine wines, just the best of everything. Daniel objected. He said, I'm not going to eat the king's food. Now, the Bible doesn't give us a reason that he wasn't going to eat the king's food, um, but I, I believe from my study of history, most likely all meat and all wine that was drunk in the king's palace had been offered to idols. And so... Daniel was not going to participate in idolatry and worship the idols. He loved God, and he wasn't about to violate that love by participating in that worship, by eating the meats and wines that had been offered to the, to the idols. Uh, so he said, I'm not going to eat it. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego agreed, we're not going to eat it either. Well, the man the king put in charge said, um, if you don't eat the king's food and he comes at the end of the first month and you look sickly, he's going to cut my head off. So you have to eat this food so you will be strong and healthy. Daniel said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a test and for a short period of time, we won't eat the food. You go ahead and feed everybody else the king's food and we won't eat the king's food. And we'll see who's the healthiest at the end of that time. So the, the guy the king had in charge of them said, okay, we'll, we'll do that. I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that will prove to you that, that you need to be eating this so you can look healthier. So they did. For that time period, they ate only fruits and vegetables. And they drank water. I have no idea if they drank milk or not. The Bible doesn't say but they drank uh, fruits and vegetables, and they, they did not eat any of the king's meat or wine. At the end of the time period, when the man in charge came to examine them, he found them to be stronger and had a better complexion and to be smarter than all the other people who had the others that had been taken captive. Um, that had eaten the king's rich foods. Well, there are some people who take that lesson from this. I don't think so. 
I think God miraculously worked with Daniel and his friends to make them healthier so they could worship him and they wouldn't have to violate their worship of him by worshiping the idols by eating their foods. Um, that part's subject to interpretation. That's my interpretation of it. Um, but they, they, the Bible says that these four men then became the smartest ones in the kingdom and became leaders in the kingdom of Babylon. So even though they were yanked out of their homeland, God had them prosper even in captivity, just like Joseph uh, many, many years before. So God was taking care of them and he was controlling them because they chose to worship him and not to taint their worship with worldly things. Okay? So let's sing our song. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number.